First, you want to clear shavings away from the seat and clean the body with a rag. We want to blue the seat to make sure we have a narrow, clean, continuous contact line all around the seat. This is the lapping tool used in conjunction with the stem to lap and blue the valve. The lapping tool consists of a lapping tool sleeve, a lapping tool bushing, and a lapping tool nut. Now we're going to assemble the lapping tool to the valve stem. First, apply the bushing or insert the bushing onto the lapping tool sleeve. Install the valve stem that you're going to lap to the valve body. And screw on the lapping tool nut. Make sure when you're screwing the lapping tool nut on, you don't tighten it too tight as the disc needs to float freely on the front of the lapping tool. Also make sure that the lapping tool lugs are engaged to the slots in the back of the disc. We're going to blue the seat now to make sure that we've got a clean, narrow, continuous line all the way around the seat. First you want to apply a small amount of bluing compound to the disc. Spread the bluing compound around on this disc until you've got a very uniform, thin, covering of bluing on the disc. Next, insert the tool into the body. Apply firm pressure down against the disc and seat. Remove the tool from the body and inspect your blue line. Make sure you have a clean, continuous contact line on the seat. If not, install the reseating tool and keep cutting. And now we're going to lap this valve. To start, you take the assembled lapping tool and on the disc of the valve stem apply a small quantity of coarse lapping compound. 120 lapping compound generally works well. It's important to apply the lapping compound right in the area where it's going to make contact with the seat. Then insert the lapping tool and the disc into the body. With firm downward pressure and a rotary motion back and forth, start to lap the seat. You'll continue lapping the seat for approximately two minutes. At this time, you should start to notice a bright, shiny ring both on the disc and on the seat. Once you've achieved this, then remove the lapping tool, inspect the seat, know that you have your continuous line, and then do this process all over again using a fine compound, 240 grit, until you achieve a shiny ring then and your valve is lapped. After lapping the seats with the coarse compound, you want to be sure to clean the tools and the seats prior to starting to lap with the fine compound. And now we're going to lap the bonnet seat in the body. To do this, you take the bonnet lapping tool and apply coarse lapping compound to the bonnet tool like we did with the disc. Assemble the bonnet tool into the body. Assemble a wrench to the lapping tool. And with light downward pressure and rotary motion on the wrench, lap this bonnet seat until all the imperfections are removed. Note, this only needs to be done in the unlikely event there are scratches or nicks in the bonnet seat. Once the process is complete, remove the wrench. Remove the tool, inspect the seat, and then repeat this process with a fine lapping compound, and then your bonnet is lapped. Before reassembly, make sure that all valve components are thoroughly cleaned.